cute they are. Kevin, hey. Next thing you know, they're not gonna be able to poop and they're gonna explode. There's so many. Oh yeah, baby. Look, she's already eating the dang egg. What's up all you epic Minecraft, Imposter, Moga, Sus, Fortnite, Skyrim, RuneScape, Club Penguins, Toontowns, Wizard 101, and James Chungus sisters. It's me, Uncle Farmer, Dad. Ben. We are going to be cleaning up a little bit after that big storm. I need to go and get a new shelter for Karen and Kevin. And then I'm going to get all the chicks that have hatched in the broody hen. We actually have quite a few. Oh, hello, Poggers. How are you today? We actually have quite a few chicks that have hatched under those broody. Whoa, is that hit rapper and artist? The baby? Oh. Yeah, now I don't have to worry about water in the grass at all. Good morning, Chibkins. Okay, they're good on food and water. Do we have any rats in here? Close that up. A ton of eggs in here. I definitely should have been harvesting these. Excuse me, mama. There's so many. I'll grab you. Oh. For temporary safety purposes, I'm gonna put them in here. I love how they're all just like sharing the babies. Hey, all right, come on. Give me the, give me the child. Okay, I'll put you in there. What's under there? All right, I'm just gonna pull this back. Look at all these eggs, guys. And the thing is, they probably weren't very consistent with brooding them and this is why you don't let the mamas incubate their own eggs look she's already eating the dang egg i'll take these two and bring them to safety and of course poggers left the gate open kevin hey it looks like your tent is looking a bit rough my boy <laughs> what do you think of these adorable little baby chicks sir would you like me to fix that tent for you or go get you a new one sir i have to go get you a new one honestly i bet all that food in there is still dry okay everyone else seems to be doing pretty well morgan seems to be just tweaking out for no reason, per usual. Look how big Morgan's getting. Poppy's door is sprung wide open. Let's see if she's still in here. Poppy? Nope, Poppy has gone rogue again. I sure hope Poppy isn't the sussamogus imposter that's been taking these. <gasps> is that hit rapper and artist to baby? Hello, sir, how are you today? Thanks for coming to my house. <laughs> oh, goodbye. I would really love to just let these guys run around and be free little chicks with the moms, but it's there's just too many things that will just come and kill them. And there isn't any water that's at ground level for them to drink. I sure hope this bag of sweet feed isn't completely wet. Bye, the baby. All right, let's go check on the babies. Good morning, my loves. Oh, look at that. Look how teeny. Okay, I'm gonna put this guy in here and it's that time of the month again. I'm gonna go ahead and actually spread all these guys out and it's starting to get all messy and if I'm gonna go on vacation then I don't want to leave a mess for the person that's gonna be farm sitting Kevin's son is doing really well and it looks like the chicks are pooping even more than he is I see Vinny again hello Vinny are you gonna let me catch you today so I can take you out of harm's way buddy this time I have a net she went under the gate again now she's being protected by Kevin hello Kevin what better security system do you need after I put more food for this boy I can go ahead and take one of their containers and give it to poggers excuse me nugget hello sir here let me pull that back for you a little bit come on buddy move back move back move back oh good boy all right so now that i'm pushing kevin back just a little bit hey come on kevin stay back stay back what nope no more ride shield okay now that that seems to have been enough go ahead and push this back no hey, Kevin. Stay. Check this out, guys. Somehow water still managed to get in this thing. Look at that gulag. Okay, I'm gonna give all this to the chicks before I disperse them evenly. Here we go. All kinds of food for these little guys. They'll make short work of that. All right, I think it's time to man up and just get a little mini carport to give them for shelter. Because this is not working. It's funny, it's actually, it's getting harder to assert my dominance with him without using some kind of brute force. After I do it, for the rest of the day, he's good. Oh, look at Vinny. This is why you can't leave any food out in the rain, you guys, because the second you do, a bunch of flies are going to get out. Thankfully, we got these fly traps, and that should help a lot. Kevin, hey! Okay, now the game plan is just to kind of spread these guys out a little bit. Oh, there's the pigeons flying by. And the female pigeon just kind of sits here and uh, incubates her eggs. She's got two eggs in there. You guys are probably wondering, where's Darth Phobos? She flew into the neighbor's yard again whenever I left this thing open, or whenever Poggers pushed it open. Neighbors grabbed her and then said, hey... You know, we, we've been looking to have ducks for a while. So many of my ducks have flown into their yards over the past year, and they said, can we just keep her? So they did. So I was moving the little chicks into the other brooder, and then uh, if I hadn't been doing that, I wouldn't have caught this. This little guy has crusty butt. You saw old videos where we take a little crusty butt. All you do is you just get a warm, wet paper towel, and then you just wipe that. Because if you don't, then it'll clog up their little cloaca. Next thing you know, they're not gonna be able to poop and they're gonna explode. More so, they're just gonna die. Look at this little baby. But it's a very necessary thing you have to do if you wanna keep all your chicks alive. And if you catch it early, you can save a life. 
Okay, now I'm just gonna go ahead and put them in here for it to dry off, and then he's gonna be good to go. Okay, we got issue. I got the screw, the screw extractor. And just because it's stripped, I, I actually tried to extract it, but there should be a bolt on the other side, and I think that's what's spinning. So right now, my two options are to remove all the eggs, put them in these other incubators, just to keep them at the right temperature and humidity for a bit, unscrew this whole thing, and then take it apart. Or I could drill a little hole in the back and then try and just hold it with pliers while somebody else tries to unscrew the front. I honestly think I should just remove all the eggs. Okay, so these are all the duck eggs that we got from that, uh, from all the Muscovy ducks at the park. None of them hatch, none of them are even developing. So I'm gonna go ahead and just toss these out. This goes to show guys, you don't wanna buy little giant incubators. Now these hoverbaiter incubators are a lot better. Take a look at this. We actually got a baby. But I don't know if that's Munchkins or just another one. I'm gonna have to check. I think it's, yeah, it's a Munchkin. So one of Munchkin's babies did actually hatch. Thank you, Chrissy. Okay, so I just went ahead and put the whole rack on there. I'm gonna do the exact same thing with these guys in the back. And now I got both of the big boy trays in there and now I can finally get to work on this. So I'm gonna unplug this guy and get working. So I think the move is just gonna be unscrew these and then just get in through the back. Well, 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 well. Here's the culprit. Cheap made in China screws. Looks like they didn't even remove the adhesive stuff before they made this. I'm just gonna use this little guy, hopefully, to uh, take this off. But it's probably gonna spin with it. Yep. Figured it's gonna spin. Oh, oh, it's coming off. Oh, yeah, baby. Ladies and gentlemen, we now have a hatcher. Okay, now all I have to do is just clean up this bottom part and then put two trays at the bottom and now we have a hatcher. A lot of things kept banging on this plate and it wasn't letting it move. Now hopefully I can seamlessly put this guy back on without having to worry as much. Okay, I got these corner boys back on. Honestly, these are not that hard to manufacture, you guys. Any of you guys could start your own incubator company just by getting the raw materials for this manufacturer and you could run Brisnia out of business real quick. Okay, got them all back on. Now I just need to boot her back up and get these trays back in. Okay, now that she's booting back up, should be ready to go in a bit. All right, I sincerely hope these eggs hatch, but if we don't, then we know why. They should be good. Now I'm gonna disinfect these, clean this whole place up, and then we're gonna be done. Today's one of those make my yard and house great again days. Look at Vinny eating that food with the pigeon. I was gonna keep this and keep incubating with it because I don't like to waste things. This thing was, I think, a 80 to $100 new. Hello, Pog. It's clearly a waste of time. This, this keeps the temperature and humidity very well, but what it doesn't do is this, this turner is terrible. It's not good for, for any kind of duck eggs or anything that isn't a chicken egg. And even chicken eggs, I've noticed that Little Giant has probably about a 30% lower hatch rate on average than the Hubba Bader. Do not buy these Little Giants, guys. Pay the extra 50 bucks. Get a hover baiter, it is well worth it. It's a lot less hassle, and you don't even have to remove the turner. Like these turners here, you gotta remove them, but you don't have to remove these ones. So they'll, they'll just hatch and they'll be ready to go. Having said that, I'm still a thrifty guy. and I'm gonna keep this as a hatcher after I uh, clean it out. Man, I'm really excited to get that little, uh, get that little duck out of there when she's done fluffing. I was buying collard greens and kale, for olive, but then I realized I didn't need to do that because I have so much grass in my yard. There you go, baby. Yeah, I got this little hatcher set up on the bottom. That way, if one does end up falling down, which isn't supposed to happen, but if it does happen, uh, it'll make its way down here and then we'll be fine. That's just in case if I'm out of town. Realistically though, we should keep an eye on when we put them in and then two days prior, we should put them in the hatcher. Well, everything's turning just how it should be. Look at Kevin, Morgan, and Karen just sitting in that little thing over there. I might just leave that open for them. Hey, guy. Okay, now I got the baby's food in here. I got Pogger's food in there so he doesn't keep breaking into it. Whoa, is that... Is that a convertible? I'm gonna set these fly traps up real quick so the place doesn't get swarmed. These guys are super easy to use if you've never seen them. You just fill it up with water and hang it up outside. There's a bunch of poison in this little dissolvable bag and you don't wanna let anything eat that or touch it or get anywhere near it. And Poggers is dumb enough to eat just about anything so I'm gonna have to put this up. I think putting this here, look at Kevin attacking the fence. I think putting this here makes the most logical sense because that way uh, it's not gonna fall. Karen and Kevin theoretically could peck at it. There we go, that's a little crisis averted. Look how pretty. Precious this is. This is the cutest baby I've ever seen. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is one of Munchkin's babies. She's already sleepy. Baby Kevin has been eating and drinking, which is wonderful. I put this bigger 
water in here. This is perfect. It's big enough for her to scoop out, but not big enough for uh, her or him to get drowned in. Okay, so now that we're gonna have a bunch of ducks coming out, I assume, at least a couple, uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna at least clear one of these guys out just for the ducks and have them separate from the chick. Put down new wood chips here also because it was starting to smell a little bit. And now the whole garage just smells amazing. But before I put any feeders or waterers in here and before I clean out the rest of the garage, I'm gonna go ahead and push everything down with this. What this does is it keeps it nice and firm so that the wood chips aren't just gonna get kicked around all the time and get knocked right into the water. Okay, there you go. And you can easily tell a difference immediately whenever you push it down. Okay, these bricks are gonna be a great start and they're gonna love this little grub here. Put this little guy in there with the feed and I'll give it to these guys for now. Look at baby Kevin. Tell me this isn't the most precious thing you've ever seen in your whole life. Look at them. Look how cute they are. Okay, I got that stuff set up in there and in there. This way they can step up on it. But I'm still gonna have to buy two more Waters. Somebody already bought all the naked neck boys. No more naked neck. Somebody actually came in there and said, I want to buy all your naked neck chicks. Nobody ever wants those little things. I got the new waterers and I saw that Vinny's still being a little dingus. Vinny, hey, I swear I'm not going to catch you in this net because I haven't been able to catch you for the last several days what are you chewing on there oh okay okay well that's filling up one thing that i'll show you guys that does stink about these guys is that when it uh, overflows or if it's not completely level it'll seek through that little crack there. so that's why i'll say that with these waters them being level is way more important than them being high up because if it's not level it's going to crack through there and then next thing you know all your wood chips are wet and you got no water left and then all that water's in there and then it's just going to start rotting okay guys that's it this stuff is not that hard to do all right now we got Three brooders, one for these guys, one for these guys, one for these guys, and I could get another one set up here, but I don't think we have another heat lamp. Look. Well, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching this video. I'm gonna finish cleaning everything and make sure Karen has plenty of food. Tune in next time to watch us get into a domestic dispute. I'm gonna get all those chicks and move them over as well. Hopefully I can go on vacation soon. Oh, I almost forgot to take ah! But I love you guys. I appreciate you. I love the memes on the subreddit. Love the new subreddit. Love you guys. And this was my favorite meme.